IELTS Reading Tips and Tricks to Achieve a Band 9 In this video, I will share effective tips and strategies for helping you achieve a Band 9 in IELTS Reading. In this video, we will discuss IELTS Exam Format, Effective Time Management Strategies, Techniques for Transferring Answers, IELTS Reading Strategy, and more. What's the IELTS Exam Format? You get 40 questions and 60 minutes to complete all questions. In IELTS Academic, you have three longer passages. However, in IELTS General Training, there are five shorter passages. For IELTS Academic, which tends to be more scientific, you need to answer 30 to 32 questions correctly to achieve a band 7. In General Training, with simpler topics, you need to answer 34 questions to reach a band 7. Time management. Expect to be short on time in the IELTS reading section. There is a lot to read, and looking for answers takes up time, so managing your time effectively is crucial. Remember, the first passage is the easiest, and the last one is the hardest. I suggest you finish the first section in about 15 minutes, the second section in 20 minutes, the third section in 25 minutes. I encourage you to mark difficult questions to review later, if needed. Note that using this time management technique will help you maximise your chances of answering all questions. Transferring answers In a paper-based exam, you'll mark your answers on the question sheet first. Remember, you don't get extra time for transferring your answers, so you must complete everything within 60 minutes. I recommend transferring answers after each set of questions rather than leaving it until the end. Keep in mind that most people run out of time while transferring answers in their exam. Don't let this happen to you. In a computer-based exam, you select your answers directly on the screen, saving time as there is no need to transfer them. Most students find it more convenient to do the reading questions on the computer because the large screen allows them to see almost all the text without scrolling. The questions will be displayed on the same screen, making it easier to manage time. IELTS Reading Strategy For those who read quickly and retain information well, I recommend that you read the entire passage first and then answer questions. However, this method might not work for some people, because by the time they start answering questions, they have often forgotten what they read and need to search for sentences again, wasting time. If you can't read fast, that is fine. I suggest you read the first question and then quickly scan the text without focusing on the details. Always ensure you read the relevant sentence and keywords carefully and mark the answer. Then you can move on to the next question and repeat the same process. This IELTS reading strategy has helped a lot of students finish the reading section more quickly. Do all questions follow the passage order? Most questions do follow the passage order, which makes it easier to find answers sequentially. However, some question types like matching paragraphs or headings do not follow the passage order. Pay attention to keywords. When reading the questions, I suggest you identify and highlight keywords. Look for these keywords or their synonyms in the passage as you will rarely find the exact words. Understanding how different parts of the sentence relate to each other can help you ignore irrelevant information and focus on finding the correct answer. I encourage you to highlight any names, dates, theories, places. In a paper-based exam, use a pencil to underline these words. In a computer-based exam, use the highlight function. Do not spend too much time on any single question. If there are questions you are still unsure about, I suggest you mark them for review. After finishing all the questions, you can go back to revisit those marked questions. Some question types are particularly tricky, such as true, false, not given, or matching headings. Having an effective strategy for the IELTS exam will save you time and reduce stress. Find your way to answer each type of question. I encourage you to develop your own strategy for each type of question before taking the exam. Use the strategies in this video to prepare will help you feel more confident and efficient during the test. 
These are the most effective tips on IELTS reading for people to achieve a band 9. I hope you found them helpful. Thank you for watching and good luck with your preparation and exam.